Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're going to be talking about a small shipment we just got. A 3090, 3080 Ti, and some Zotax. So if you think that's interesting, hit like, subscribe, hit the bell. Go to CryptoLLC.org if you're looking for, for someone to manage a GPU or a sick mining farm. And check out our other social media accounts. Alright, let's get started. I'm going to be using one hand to take this apart. Recording off of my phone. Just want to show you guys a 3090 from NVIDIA. Let me show you guys around some of the cards here. So if you guys haven't seen a 3090 before from NVIDIA, it is absolutely huge. Look how gigantic that is. Look at my hand. That's how huge it is. It's absolutely huge. Gigantic. A lot bigger than the 3090s uh, I've seen from other uh, manufacturers, such as like, uh, I have an EVGA 3090 for my personal computer, and it is smaller than this one. This one is gigantic. So, <clears throat> The performance on them is very good actually. They are very cool. A lot cooler than other 3090s. Uh, if you were to get, even the EVGA 3090 I think is not as cool as this one. This one's just, for some reason, it's just very cool. Um, it looks like, probably because it has really nice heat sinks on there. We have not taken apart any 3090s from Nvidia before, so I don't know how the VRAM setup looks like. But whatever it's doing, it's doing a good job. It's, it mines at about 124 mega hashes, 124, 128, around there. And uh, uh, the temperatures on there is around like 80, 85. So it's very, very cool. All right, let's take a look at another card here. This is a 3080 Ti, again from NVIDIA. It's a brand new card. Let me get a knife here. So, like I said, this is a small batch for one of our clients, just something we could get. And uh, this is something that you could get for yourself, or something we would get for you. If you wanted us to manage for you. We'd also get them in maybe small batches like this, but a lot of times we get them in bigger batches, maybe like 50 cards, 100 cards, 200 cards, and so on. So here's another card here, 3080 Ti from NVIDIA. Also a brand new card. So the performance on these is, uh, is good. They're not as great as the 3090s in terms of VRAM temperatures. Obviously it's a slower card, but in terms of VRAM temperatures, it is not as good. The VRAM temperatures are a lot better than the 3090, which is very interesting because again, the 3090 is way faster than the TI. Let me get that power supply out of there. All doing this from one hand. So I'm gonna plug these guys in on the rig over here. You see this rig, it's a B250. It's only got two cards. And I'm gonna plug in the rest here at the top right there. And then two right here. So I'll plug that in right after I complete this video here. I'll put this away for now. This warehouse is you know, not perfectly clean yet since we're just building it out. It's got a lot of things uh, laying around, got two by fours and plywood and stuff like that. All right, so here's 3080 from Zotac. It's LHR, you see that right there? LHR is brand new, five cards. Now these are typical. We get a lot of 3080 uh, L, um, Zotax, LHR. Everything's LHR now. So you want to pretty much get anything, it's gonna be LHR. So we get a lot of Zotax and we also get a lot of gigabytes. So make sure you're tuned in to our channel. Uh, we have another shipment of gigabytes coming in, probably like Friday, this Friday, so in a couple days, or like next Monday. So got a lot of gigabytes coming in. Anyway, back to this Zotac card. So this is very typical, like I said. The typical what we get. So it's a three fan Zotac Trinity card, 3080 LHR, 
does about 74 mega hashes on Ethereum. And uh, currently that's what we mine, Ethereum. Um, haven't checked Kapow algorithm for a while since we've been running Ethereum for the past couple of months. So I have no idea. There's, you know, there's updates that come out on Gminer. So we run Gminer, updates come out on it. Um, and uh, we have not checked for power, so we don't know what the current rate is for any other algorithm other than Ethereum. But once we have that, uh, if any time in the future we switch to a different uh, algorithm, I'll let you guys know in another video. But anyway, back to the card. So here's the card, brand new. So again, we're gonna plug them all in. So we got 3080 Ti. 3090, 3080 Ti, and a 3080 Ti. So a couple of 3080 Ti's, three of them, another 3090, and then five Zotac 3080's LHR cards. Again, we'll plug them over here. You see we have like a mixed rig. Um, it's what we can get. And uh, some of these cards are from our other client. And so he uh, basically uh, bought some himself and shipped it to us. Um, and as well as just bought whatever was available. So a lot of times we get shipments, maybe it'd be like 20 cards of Gigabyte or TIs or something like that. And then a lot of times we get shipments of like 100, 200, 300 of a certain type. Like I said, Zotac, usually Zotacs and Gigabytes. All right, well, that's the uh, current status as of today. If you guys are interested, having us manage a GPU or ASIC mining farm, you can take a look at this one. We're setting it up. I see these are all empty. Going to be adding cards. This one down here is getting completed. And then if you look over here, this, these are completed here. This uh, all the way to the top, all completed, as well as over here on this side, you got one, two, three rigs completed. And then the fourth rig right here is almost done. Just needs four more cards and it'll be done. Fifth rig is empty and empty over there. So we will have this probably all finished up in like a month. Um, all of these rigs here, maybe a little less. We try to go as fast as we can, but the whole chip shortage and the whole you know, problem with GPUs, even if you find a batch of like 200 of them, uh, you still will be stuck you know, waiting like a month because they might just ship you like 100, well not 100, like a 50 a week or something like that. So anyway, that's, some, that's a service we provide for all of our clients. So if, you were, if you're were, if you looking to build a farm, let's say you wanted to build a 500 GPU farm, for you to actually do that, it'd be almost impossible because you have to go to eBay and buy a card at a time, getting you know very expensive prices. We get the, the GPUs at a better price, and we also get a better quantity. We get hundreds of them, and they're new. Uh, we don't. We, we, we do buy used. You know, if a client wants to get used, he can get used. But most of the cards, like 90% of them or 95% of them, are all new. So you get new cards, and. Uh, you get them at a nice price. That's also a very uh, strong case for why you know some of our clients work with us because it's just literally impossible for you to build it on your own. And then on top of that, we also provide a very good uh, service for the, the rigs. You don't have to do anything about the rigs yourself. You have to take care of them, maintenance them, you know, write the programs for them, uh, manage the VRAM, the core clock, uh, the algorithms, the deposits, the withdrawals, all that stuff is automatically managed by us manage everything for you and on top of that we get nice prices for GPUs and the rest of the gear such as PSUs we also get nice prices for PSUs and we also buy them at uh, good good prices and at good quantity we can get hundreds of these 6,100 EVGA PSUs got a 10 year warranty on those so a lot of incentives a lot of uh, pluses uh, we're working with us you don't have to do any of this stuff and just forget about it you make an investment and you collect your money all right, well, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys like it. You know what to do, like, subscribe, hit the bell. Go to Crypto LLC if you're looking for someone to manage a GPU or a sick mining farm. And if you are looking for alternatives to YouTube, check us out on Rumble, BitChute, Gab, Mines, and so on. All right, until next time, bye.